Monument Valley. The Grand Canyon. Niagara Falls. These ancient wonders show how nature's forces have shaped the face of our planet on a vast time scale. How great landmarks are the work of millions of years of slow, imperceptible erosion by wind and water. But here, across 16,000 square miles of Washington state, abrupt rips and scars in the landscape defy this explanation. What could have formed these tall canyons and immense dry waterfalls? What could have gouged out these gigantic potholes? The forces unleashed here created one of the Earth's most enigmatic landscapes. For more than a century, scientists have been grappling with this geological mystery. Descending through thousands of years of Earth history in a struggle to uncover, layer by layer, how this landscape was formed. Now, the clues point to a sequence of events culminating in a massive natural catastrophe. You would have heard this tremendous roar coming long before you saw anything. The Earth would have shook. This evidence suggests we have drastically underestimated the powerful forces that shape our planet. It suggests that this world can create cataclysms far more powerful than we ever thought. Tonight, recreated for the first time in 15,000 years, the colossal cataclysm that carved out a landscape in the blink of an eye. Mystery of the Mega Flood, next on Nova. The peaceful flat farmland of Washington State. But after hundreds of miles, it changes. And in the distance, a very different landscape appears. Gorges, some almost 1,000 feet deep. waterfall five times wider than Niagara but without any water weird holes in the valley floors strange layers of silt and ash and over the whole area Huge boulders are scattered, as if a giant had dropped them there. Few places on Earth are as mysterious and controversial as the channeled scablands that lie just 200 miles east of Seattle. For over a century, Scientists have been struggling to explain what forces could shape this unique place. But for much of that time, they were unable to account for it.
When we see a landform or a, a group of landforms, we rely upon our knowledge as to how similar landforms were created. So the geologist is always thinking of the origin of a particular feature. However, there was one landscape that really defied the understanding of geologists. And of course, that landscape was the channeled scab land. Then a series of clues began to fit together to finally explain this bizarre landscape. And it came about from the study of rocks. In geology, we are really looking for evidence for features in the rocks, on the landscape. It's very similar to what a detective does, looking for clues at a crime scene. And those clues are fit into a pattern, and ultimately a culprit is associated with that crime scene. It's wonderful to be flying over one of the most interesting parts of the United States. Even the first explorers and uh, first settlers who came in this area recognized this as uh, truly remarkable topography. And they realized that this was something like the Earth having been uh, subjected to wounds and sores. So they called this uh, scab land. But uh, you can't really get a sense of the scale of this unless you you get out onto the landscape uh, yourself. <laughs> 